has the PC port for CTR been confirmed? Well, there's some confusion and it's not exactly clear, but let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Gaia here and back with a brand new video. So CTR is still kicking and still doing very well. The game recently was patched and added a bunch of new content and fixed some issues. But recently, I was sent a bunch of DMs and a bunch of images pointing to a specific detail that gives credit to the concept of CTR coming to PC. Now, this was last week, but I was quite busy with Final Fantasy VII, so you're gonna have to forgive me on that. But even yesterday, people were sending me DMs asking me about it. Here is what everyone's been talking about. When looking at the support page and the health of the servers, at one point we had Xbox, PlayStation, and Windows, which of course is the operating system for the majority of PCs in the world. Now, at first glance, this definitely seems like amazing news. Are we finally going to experience racing in 4K and uncapped frame rates? Is this going to be a brand new way to experience Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled once again? Well, I don't want you to stop getting excited, but to pause it for one second. Because if you were to dig deeper on the support page, you would also find that apparently CTR came out last generation and we just never knew about it because apparently the PS3 servers are still active. In case you're wondering, this is extreme sarcasm. Obviously, the fact that it says that the PS3 servers are online for a game that never even came close to seeing the light of day on the previous generation shows that there was a massive error on the page. And when there is a confirmed massive error or mess up, it means that other areas within the site could be messed up and therefore kind of makes the information incredibly unreliable. Now, does this mean that this is fake? that it wasn't a slip up of announcing what is to come and someone just accidentally put the wrong console on the support page? Well, I don't want to say that either. These things happen all the time for ports of pre-existing games that come out recently. Unless it's a much older game or no one expected a port of it, marketing and secrecy to ports is pretty lax. Spyro Reignited, for example, was leaked before its Nintendo Direct in a very casual manner. So to say that this has no chance to mean anything at all might be a bit too negative and a bit aggressive. Now, I had mentioned this before, but a PC CTR port might be confusing for some consumers. The reason why is because I was wondering how they would handle the pit stop and if they were just going to repeat the previous Grand Prix over and over again. But it seems with the most recent patch that very likely the pit stop will just have all the previous content from all the previous Grand Prix put into the pit stop and have active quests to be able to unlock more Wumpa coins. Now, there was a pattern that was observed that shows that Activision shows trailers for their ports about three months before release and the releases is about a year after the initial launch. So if CTR is coming to PC, which would make sense because Crash Bandicoot Insane and Spire Reignited came to PC as well, we would likely hear of it in April or May and for it to release in June, but that's if it follows the pattern. And with the current outbreak, it might not follow. Overall, does this support page error tell us that a PC port is on the way? Honestly, it doesn't confirm it due to the fact that it has a massive PS3 server error, but it also doesn't deconfirm it either. It's just something interesting overall and just something that you should pay attention to, but don't use as definitive evidence that a PC port is on the way. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.